Yesterday we had a presentation relating to how the coating of multiple myeloma cells by sialic acid or hypersialation is a potential mechanism of immune evasion. Uh, several years ago my group um, reported that in multiple myeloma that there's an increase in sialylation and that there's an overexpression of sial transferases which are involved in the incorporation of sialic acid onto the surface of myeloma cells. And these, this sialylation can in fact interact with inhibitory receptors that are on the surface of immune cells and in the case of NK cells in particular, and this is the subject of our, of our you know, report yesterday, but these inhibitory receptors are in fact analogous to PD-1, so they have an inhibitory uh, motif. So on engagement of Siglec ligands, which are sialylated structures on the surface of myeloma cells, you actually get an inhibitory signal and so you get an inhib inhibition of NK activity. And what we're able to show is that using a number of approaches, whether this be removal of sialic acid from the surface of the myeloma cell or knocking out the inhibitory receptor, the Siglec 7 receptor on NK cells using CRISPR-Cas9, that we could significantly enhance the cytotoxicity of myeloma cells. Now one of the interesting aspects of this is that when we remove the sialic acid from the myeloma cells, we also see upregulation of CD38. And when we combined this approach with daratumumab, we saw very significant enhancement of the antibody-dependent cell-mediated cytotoxicity that's mediated by daratumumab in the presence of NK cells. So this is still really you know, translational work and it's not quite yet ready for the clinic but potential ways in which this could be exploited clinically is through the use of antibodies which could be conjugated with a sialidase enzyme. There's a company called Pallium Pharma that are developing an approach um, like this. Also another approach could be to use an enzyme that inhibits the sial transferases that incorporate the sialic acid onto the myeloma cells and that's something that we're trying to develop on a, on a preclinical basis in the laboratory using nanoparticle delivery. But another approach, of, of course, would be to, in fact, genetically engineer NK cells for adoptive immunotherapy, where the NK cells are actually edited to lack the Siglec 7 receptor, and therefore they're not amenable to inhibition by the sialic acid on the myeloma cells.